welcome back to round two. It is Friday, excuse me, it's Wednesday, May 3rd, and it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm a big fan. So we're going to see how accurate the Lyo meter is this time around. I'm currently reading 19.1 miles per gallon on the Lyo meter, and I'm about two minutes away from the diesel station. I still have about a, thir a third of a tank or so reading on the gauge, and I was I told you guys I was going to try to do this, so you know I ran it as, as low as possible so we had a kind of a wide sample size for each uh, each fill. And the reason why I'm doing that at a third of, it's still a third of a tank and about 164 miles of range remaining, about exactly 164 miles of range remaining according to this, is because uh, I am going to have to do a bunch of driving tomorrow after I get to work and that means I'm not going to be able to get back to the same pump and I want to keep it as consistent as I can. So the first probably 60 or 70 miles of this tank, of the 360 miles that are on it, were uh, doing some wheeling and just basically up logging roads doing some shooting. And so mileage and four-wheel drive, not so bueno, but I'm pretty sure that I think today it's going to be a little better than it was uh, last time. I have this theory about this where it doesn't actually capture the entire length of your drive. I think it actually captures just like a rolling window of like maybe 100 miles or so and that's why it will still go up and down as you approach, uh, like as you're at the end of a tank of 500 miles on a tank, give or take, and you can still get tenths of a, of a mile per gallon to change on it. So that's my theory. That will that will come up in another video, I think. But uh, this one specifically is just going to be about round two. So pulling up to my local tweaker mart and going to get some diesel at the same pump. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'll show you uh, the actual pump. I'll show you my dash and I'll show you me clearing it. And this is the, it is a consecutive tank for last time, or a refill for, from last time. So the mileage should line up. See you guys in a minute. You? you guys are on TV. Congratulations. More often than not. I'm documenting my fuel mileage. Do you want a receipt? No thanks. Okay. All right, so we have 21314. Oops. Let's get up in that business. I'm just pulling across the parking lot, so don't worry. Nothing dangerous. All right, so 21314 was the miles, and we have 363 on the trip meter. So 363 and 19.0 miles per gallon, and again 363.1. All right, let's do some math, because I know you guys have already beat me to it. So, we're gonna go to the calculator first, that would be helpful. So we have 363.1 divided by 21.314. 17.03 miles per gallon pretty consistently, almost exactly two miles per gallon off. So, I feel lied to. I'm pretty upset about it. It's all right. And just so you can see this evidence, so you know I'm not sandbagging these results, we're gonna clear that. Back at zeros. And here's my trip meter. Clear that as well. All right, 
all zeros. All right, so I know that two things does not make a pattern, but I feel like a trend is starting to emerge. Well, it doesn't make a trend either, but let's find out. Uh, something to note on that one, I asked the dude to top it off because the other guy did as well, and so I was just keeping it consistent so you know, you're not getting kind of a weird carryover from one to the other. I asked him to top it off, and the diesel nozzle didn't shut off. It wasn't a lot on the ground. I would guesstimate maybe maybe like two cups, so like six, maybe like a pint glass. Um, that's a quarter of a gallon, I guess. No, it's not. That's an eighth of a gallon. Anyway, it wouldn't have made a significant difference at any rate, but just so you guys have that full picture, can't put the diesel back in, but whatever. Guy was nice about it, not his fault. So I'll see you for round three, probably like day after tomorrow at the rate I'm putting miles on this thing. So have a good one.